North Korea is a dictatorship country. Mm. What happens if you're uh, like dissent? You could be the immediate uh, subject of persecution or even public, you know, the shootings. Mm. So unless you defect mm -hmm. like me, you can't say any word against the North Korean policy. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeu Park, today's host from Radio Free Asia. We have a special guest today, Secretary General Tae Yong Ho from Unification Anniversary Council. He was DPRK Deputy Ambassador to United Kingdom. He defected 2016 to South Korea with his family. After settling in for four years in South Korea, he became National Assembly member in South Korea, and now he became high-ranking government official. So welcome to the show, okay. Secretary General. Thank you for your invitation. Yes, I'm very much pleased to talk about North Korean issues, especially for Radio Free Asia. So first of all, I just want to ask, what was your first impression when you watched the North Korean soldiers was in, in the Russian facility? There's a video published, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, when I first saw that video file, I wondered whether they are North Korean soldiers or not, because they seemed uh, very shabby. You know, compared with Russian soldiers, they are very, you know, small. The small. And... Uh, they looked uh, very much uh, malnourished. Mm -hmm. They looked uh, very hungry. But uh, later on, many uh, intelligence, you know, the agencies worldwide mm -hmm. confirmed that they are really North Korean uh, the soldiers. I can confirm that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia and that North Korean military units have been deployed to the Kursk region. I was almost shocked because mm -hmm. uh, during my days in North Korea, I was educated that uh, North Korean soldiers would not fight for the interests of the other country. So uh, were you surprised? Yes, like I am very much surprised whether they would fight well or yeah. Whether Kim Jong Un's policy to support mm -hmm. Russia would fail, so in the couple of weeks or months, could be a very crucial moment for future North Korea. But North Korea keep secret like to their people, like yes. Lo Dong Shimo, they didn't mention it at they all. They didn't mention, uh, and maybe even the parents of those soldiers do not know mm -hmm. uh, whether their sons are sent. I don't think you know. Uh, they went to a Russian and Ukraine front, you know, according to their will. Also, South Korea uh, government uh, National Intel Intelligence Service has reported that Sergei Shoigu went to North Korea uh, last month to meet Kim Jong-un, talk about this issue. And also, Choi sun hee foreign minister of DPRK and your former colleague, she went to Russia last month as well. Right. How do you think uh, the conversation went between Russia and North Korea? And can you give us insight on how North Korea Minister of Foreign Affairs plays a role in this? Oh, yes. Uh, first of all, if it is true that North Korea really, you know, sent its troops to uh, Ukrainian, you know, the front line, the first, the interest uh, for North Korea is how much, you know, foreign currency mm -hmm. uh, they would get uh, in return for these soldiers. Yes. Secondly, North Korea is thirsty mm -hmm. on Russia's new technology. So North Korea is desperate to get that satellite, you know, the mm -hmm. technologies. And thirdly, uh, Kim Jong-un wants to play a kind of uh, role as a kind of game changer mm -hmm. uh, in world politics. It is, you know, proof that North Korea can make a kind of new change yes. in Ukraine war by mm -hmm. sending their soldiers. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, North Korea may tell to the world that North Korea is really a game changer in yeah. world uh, situations. So they, I think they can use the propaganda. Yes. That's right. So the coming few weeks or mm -hmm. months could be a very important, you know, uh, period, not only for North Korea, but I think the world Mark, security yeah. as well, even to America. I see. Yeah. Yes. That's kind of scary. Like, like they're evading sanction a lot. And That's right. This yes. And it is Russia who actually, you know, destroyed UN sanction regime mm -hmm. in the last March. Sanction committee, right? That's right. Yes. And also, I just want to get the perspective of, from uh, uh, Foreign Ministry of DPRK. So unlike military personnel, uh, di diplomat can get information from outside, right? They need yes. to monitor the information. So what do you think uh, 
uh, current diplomat are feeling about this situation right now? All North Korean diplomats may be uh, first surprised, and secondly, you know, uh, they would be a little bit angry because these soldiers are sent to. Uh, Ukraine war and sacrifice their long, young lives mm-hmm. just for you know Kim Jong Un regime, not for the interest of mm-hmm. the uh, the country or even their you know the parents. Yes. They were sent to Ukraine, you know, to fight against Ukraine war and Ukraine people. Yeah, uh, and now they are forced to kill you know Ukraine people and Ukraine you yeah. know the children. So actually, no. The Kim Jong Un yes. is making these North Korean soldiers, you know, guilty of a humanitarian Korean crime. crime. So within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, even though they they have a disagree with the, what Kim Jong Un is thinking about this this and but they cannot express their yes yeah, sp- yeah they can't opinion, say any right? uh, uh, they can't say uh, any word against. Uh, the Kim Jong Un's, you know, the decision. North Korea is a dictatorship country. Mm-hmm. So whatever Kim Jong Un say is a kind of you know uh, absolute instructions. You well, know, what happens if you're uh, like dissent or whatever you disagree? If you say anything against Kim Jong Un, then you could be the immediate uh, subject of persecution or even public, you know, the shootings. Do you think the the embassy staff they're kind of feel embarrassed like some sometime later on? Oh, maybe inside uh, their mentality they are very much uh, embarrassed. But you know, North Korea is a country with a system of guilt by association. So unless you defect mm-hmm. like me from North Korean system, uh, you can't say any word against the North Korean policy. So it's the system of yes. North Korea. We are Radio Free Asia. We broadcast to North Korea. Uh, probably people in North Korea listening. So, do you have any comment or any word to them? Oh, if uh, there are North Korean soldiers uh, in Ukraine, I strongly urge them, you know, uh, to escape North Korean troops if possible, because uh, that is really a very rare, uh, you know, opportunity for them uh, to defect North Korea for freedom. Mm-hmm. And I really strongly urge them to come to South Korea and enjoy the freedom and human rights as a human beings. There is no point for young soldiers of North Korea to sacrifice their, you know, lives for Kim Jong Un. I think that's re- resonate to people too in North Korea. And You're right. Thank you so much for coming today. Okay. And thank you. Yes. Today. Thank you very much for inviting me to your radio.